Hello again YouTube, this is Akoto Derek from ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com and I'm coming to you again with another one of my reviews on this beautiful Monday. Um, as you probably already know, I get reviews recorded usually on Monday and Wednesday. I have them uploaded over the next few days. So you should be looking for a few reviews coming in this week. Um, I know there was a, a pause in reviews for there for a little while, but if you're watching my sit reps, you know why. Uh, be sure to tune into our sit reps. We're doing them every couple of weeks now instead of uh, once a month. So you can be up to date on what reviews are upcoming and what we're planning on doing. Okay, the review we're doing right now for this video is the X Cortec X3200. It is a shooting chronograph. Okay, this is the this is the, the box it comes in, um, and it's the chronograph that I use to chrono all the weapons here at ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com. And what we do is uh, I noticed that on some other websites, some of the major websites out there, their um, FPS quotes on there are extremely high compared to what the gun actually shoots. Um, so if you see that it's a little lower on our website, then you know, you know that we've, we're not taking it straight from the catalog. We're actually chronographing those uh, weapons. Okay, so let's zoom in on this and I'm going to walk you through some of the features and how to operate this chronograph. And then I'm, I'm going to use my Thompson to shoot through it and use various weights BBs to kind of give you an idea of how that affected my gun's FPS. All right, this is how you get it from ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com. You get a box with the um, chronograph inside. Okay, let me open it up and show you everything you get. Okay, it comes with uh, bubble wrap. It's actually, you know, inside the box itself. It's wrapped in bubble wrap. It comes with a... Uh, put this off to the side. It's kind of windy out here. Things are getting blown around. Okay, it comes with... Uh, a manual. It's completely in Chinese. Some of the uh, some of the words are in English, but that's uh, almost not enough to help. I mean, you can look through here. You can look at pictures and kind of guide your way through it. But I found that this wasn't very helpful. Okay. So, I'm giving you this review here. Maybe this will be your learning video. Okay, it comes with uh, the uh, a shooting nozzle that you do. I, I recommend uh, putting it on, uh, mainly because every now and then your shot is gonna be a little off. You might not be aimed just right, and you might hit the chronograph. And this is gonna help you get it, I mean, if you can see in there, there's a little Bink, right there. That's where I shot the chronograph. <laughs> um, luckily, this was on. Um, also, it when you've got the barrel in, it kind of prevents any wind or anything like that from affecting your. If you look at the bottom here, you can you can see that it has a serial number. Okay, great. It's made in Taiwan. Excellent. Um, the bottom here has uh, the battery compartment, and you'll also notice there's a little screw hole right here. This is for mounting on your tripod, like your camera tripod. You just screw it on there, that way you don't have to put it on a table or what have you. It the battery compartment opens up four AAA batteries. Okay, it does not come with them, you'll need to get those on your own. Okay. Um, okay, there's a cool logo on the top. Okay, this. Let's look at the menu features, okay? Uh, I'm gonna zoom this in so you can kind of see. Now I know it's kind of dark, so you're not gonna see it, but what's really cool is this chronograph has a backlight feature. So turning it on, okay? And I'm using the down arrow to go through the menus. The very top screen is rate of fire and velocity. So you have rounds per, I have it set at seconds, and then feet per second, okay, FPS. So now right here we have the, uh, like I said, the rounds per second, feet per second. Now if you scroll down, you have um, 
You also have the rounds per second and feet per second. It's just a little smaller so they can fit in more information. You've got your joules right here, which measures how strong that BB is hitting, how much of an impact, how much damage it's doing. And then you have joules per centimeter squared. So it kind of gives you uh, how many joules per centimeter, which I never use that center. It doesn't matter to me. And then the, the size of the BB and the weight of the BB. I have it set at six millimeter and 0.3 grams. Okay, you can change that. Let me show you how. Okay, You're still going down. It gets you to your menu. Okay, your menu, you have a shot memory and to select any menu option, you just hit the power button. Okay, now this basically shows you how many rounds you fired, what the RPMs, FPS is, things like that. Okay, um, there I hit power, remember, power is the select, and we go to auto power off. What auto power off does is it, if it's not in use for a certain number of minutes, it'll just shut off to save your batteries. That is awesome, okay, and you can select 5, 10, 30, 60 minutes. Okay, next one is bullet. Now this is kind of important because depending on the size uh, and the weight of your BB, the joules are going to be different. So uh, for the thing to calculate joules correctly, you need to adjust the size and weight of your BB. Um, you can also uh, program in whatever size and weight you want. So let's select it. Now as you can see, I'm going to go up. Uh, there are six pre-saved memory slots. The first one I have at 0 0.20 6 millimeter. The second one I've got it at 0 0.25 6 millimeter, 0 0.12 6 millimeter, 0 0.30 6 millimeter. Okay, second page in every use. Okay, got 0 0.5, 0 0.36, 8 millimeter, 17 millimeter. Okay, now when would you need the 8? Well, if you have the M1 Garand that shoots the 8 millimeter bullets, uh, you would need you'd need to adjust that, so, but just leave it on six millimeter and just change the weight, and you can set it to whatever weight you always use, like 0.25s or what have you. Okay, um, okay. So I'm going to select 0.25. Now I can continue to select, and you'll see the the selection window go to the right. Now it's asking me to go up and down with the size, like there. I just set it on 0.23s because I know some of you like to shoot 0.23s or 0.28s. Okay and then you continue over and you can change that up or down to get any other size BB you got. And then right there we're back and we go up and down. And we hit exit. Brings us to the main thing. Okay, that's how I changed the backlight. I turned it on. You can turn it off. You can put it on auto so if it's dark out, if it's if it's light, it's not going to show. If it's dark, it'll light up. And then unit. Okay. Unit is the unit of measurement. Um, do you want it to measure in meters or do you want it to measure in feet? Do you want it to measure in minutes or do you want it to register in seconds? There's really only four choices. You have rounds per minute, meters per second. Rounds per minute, feet per second. Rounds per second, meters per second. And rounds per second, feet per second. That's what I've got it set on. Okay. Um, Hit select, go down another one, it resets. Now the reset would basically put all the memory options back to the way it was set factory wise. Don't want to do that. Okay, so we'll just scroll up to the top. And what we'll do is I'm going to load up my Thompson with some 20s. And then I'm going to load it up with some 25s. And then I'm going to load it up with some 30s. And we're going to see all those different and how they shoot, okay? Make sure my, my unit, unit measurement, measurement is correct. correct. My, my bullet, bullet is set, set on. on. Oh, that's, that's not, not yeah, yeah, set, set on 25. 25. Excellent. I'm going to leave it set there so you can, can kind of see how it's measuring joules. And just, just see what. what. Point two five. Do my gun. gun. All, All right, right, we got, got a three fifty five. Let's 
You see, see that? that. Now, now the joules, joules in the upper, upper left, left, you can, can see that that's 1.45 joules. That's, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Two, Two joules is starting, starting to get into really, you're hitting somebody really hard with two joules. joules. Okay. So, uh, 1.45 is pretty good. Let's do a rate of fire test. test. Switch this, this to full auto. auto. Now, when, when you do rate of fire, you can't just shoot once, or the chronograph is going to think you're just shooting once. So you've got to put anywhere between about eight to ten rounds through it for it to realize you're trying to measure rounds per second. And there you go, 9.93. It also gives you the feet per second at the bottom in addition to the, and that's probably an average of the how many BBs I shot through there. there. Okay. okay, so that, that was 0.25. Let's see, the last one was what, 355? Three eleven. Jules one thirty five. Okay. Okay. T out. Good. I'm glad it came up. That means it is just uh, it timed out. Basically, the. Uh, the BB either didn't get a good reading, or something happened, and he just couldn't. He just couldn't read it. That's just one wasted shot. So you just shoot again. Okay, let's go auto and see what uh, 30, 30s do on full auto. Probably wants, Probably doesn't slow anything down. Okay, the uh, feet per second was averaging 316, uh, and rounds per second is actually higher. Wow, okay, cool. Uh, three seven. Three ninety. 392. You get the idea. Well, let's put it on the water. See what we get. We had 9 and 10 before, right? There we go. 1017. And 389. And that's what I expect out of 20. Well, that was the. X Cortec. That was the X Cortec X3200 chronograph. We have these available at ScreamingGolairsoft.com. Uh, come by, pick one up, chronograph your weapons. Uh, make sure that you uh, are not shooting too hot on the field. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me at Derek at ScreamingGolairsoft.com. Also, you can um, check out the uh, YouTube and our website for our situation reports where we update the website on a regular basis, keep people informed on what kind of reviews we got coming up, and uh, any pertinent store information, store news, any sales, things like that. So I would uh, recommend subscribing to our channel so that you can get all that information whenever we release something new. Thank you for coming out and checking out this video. We really appreciate uh, your business at ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com. You're making us a success. Uh, we really appreciate that.